Welcome back to a new episode of Master and Programming. In today's episode, I will be reviewing the new Oculus Quest 2, but with a little bit of different requirements. So I'll be reviewing it from a developer's perspective or from someone who wants to use it for work's perspective, not just for gaming, not just for watching videos. We're going to be reviewing like comfort, effort it takes to actually get things done. Can you work on it? Can you get actual work done? And is it better than using desktop or not? So these are a little bit of my requirements that I'll be using for this review. They could be a little bit extra, especially with one, is it better than desktop or not? But that's basically what we're going to be reviewing today. So if that's something that you're interested on learning more about, please continue watching until then. Okay, so back to the Oculus. Now, there are so many different things um, about this that make it really cool. A, you can play video games in VR. You can look around, you can turn around and actually see the world change around you. Uh, you can watch movies in a massive screen. You can watch it, honestly, as big as you want it to be. It's a huge TV for you or it's your own cinema. And the sound is great. You can mingle with people, you can visit the venues, you can chat, you can play games. But that's not really what I'm going to be covering today. What I really want to focus on is getting work done using the Oculus. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is comfort. And again, I'm just going to use my own experience as a developer trying to use this. But if you're someone who just uses your computer a lot, this will work for you. So for me, I basically spend my entire day behind the computer screen. Almost from like 9 to 5, I am behind the computer screen. Even if I'm on my break, I'm usually behind the computer screen watching like a movie or a TV show or something. So either way, the idea is that I'm always behind the computer screen. And so it's very important that if I'm going to start using this thing um, in a company of my computer or with my computer or even replacing it, this needs to be comfortable. It needs to be very comfortable that I can put this from 9 to 5 on my head and not get tired from wearing it. Don't get too sweaty, don't get irritated. And so here's the thing that I want to say. It is very comfortable. It's actually very light. Um, I would say it's actually lighter than my iPhone. Um, so it's definitely very light. It's not heavy at all. Um, when you have it on your head, you still get some breeze just from your nose area, which I guess is important. But I wouldn't be able to wear, wear this from 9 to 5. Uh, a, because the battery doesn't last that long. And B, because I need to look at my environment. I'm the kind of guy that will actually get a few headaches. Even if I'm just looking at my computer and I'm not looking anywhere else, I will get a headache. And with this, you can't look anywhere else. You're looking at the screen right in front of you. Anywhere you look, although it has sort of like 3D, like you can see different distances, your eyes really do still need to see further environment so i wouldn't be able to look at it from nine to five it also can get a little bit sweaty from the edges so you can feel that sweat going over your face if you stay with it long it does come with another kind of barrier that you can put here that's almost like leathery rather than this softy touch so that can work a little bit better better if you have hot weather but at the end of the day i would never i would definitely not be able to wear this from like nine to five I can, however, wear it for two hours straight. So I have done that. I wear it for like two to three hours straight. I plug it in the charger and I just stay behind it. Um, so is it comfortable? Yes, it is. I would say up to like two to three hours. I would say maybe similar to like over the head earphones or earphones. If you can wear your earphones throughout the whole day nonstop, you'll probably be able to do it with this. Otherwise, it's probably around the same mark for me. Like I usually feel like I'm uncomfortable with the earphones at the same time that I felt uncomfortable having the oculus on. The next thing is effort. How much effort does it take to really start doing things in the oculus? And to demonstrate this, I guess I'll just do it right now. So uh, what I'll start doing is I will put my oculus straight away on live. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to record a quick video. I'm just trying to find the controller. Here it is, I think. So I'm going to try screen record the oculus here. So sharing record video um, start recording video okay I'm recording it and I guess what can we do we can open a browser uh, so I'm doing that right now and I'm gonna play a quick YouTube video so I'm just gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna play the first video that I find and my internet is a little bit slow but basically oh, there we go I'm playing something right now it's that easy for you to actually be able to create something. It really doesn't take that much effort. As you saw, it's actually <laughs> much quicker than turning my computer on and do something like, if I had to turn my computer on, go on YouTube, play a video, it will probably take me 
a little bit more than five minutes but this almost took me like a minute or like two minutes i have now the video in full screen in front of me it's massive and i love it and it didn't take a lot of effort now if you had to do something else like maybe um pr start programming or sharing uh, your desktop screen on your oculus maybe that will take a little bit longer but honestly it's not that long and i'll actually send that video that i just did right now on over here um very quickly so that's basically how easy it is for you to turn on oculus for you to go on the browser for you to open a video it doesn't take much effort at all in fact i would say the way that menu for it is designed is to be as quick as possibly can um no effort done that's definitely 100 percent if you're worried about effort in doing things don't worry it's very simple in fact it's much simpler than a computer now can you get work done using the oculus absolutely you can in fact i'll be editing this video using the oculus and i'll be showing some of those uh, videos here you definitely can uh, so there's multiple different apps that you can do that will allow you to get work done for example, Immersed is a really good app that allows you to have like your desktop across like five different screens. And that's beautiful. Um, it is a little bit laggy and it requires a lot of Wi-Fi. What I use, however, is Facebook Workrooms. So Facebook Workrooms is just, it, it's insane. It's like magic. You, all you need to do is basically just put your headset on. Suddenly you're sitting in a desk. It can be at different environments. You can change the background. You can be in a skyscraper. You can be in a board meeting. You can even share work. So you can even go and work with someone else and they can see what you're working on as if it is in real life it's really good i really like that it definitely gets work done especially that you have access to like a whiteboard where you can take a screenshot automatically put something on the screen i'll definitely be showing screen recordings of those and start working and collaborating with others so can you get work done absolutely you can so now for the final uh question is it better than using a desktop it's hard like it, it depends what you're really doing um it's nice because you have a huge screen that you can fit as much things as you want you can even split the screens across different areas um you still have your audio you still have a connection to your keyboard and so on and so this brings me to the final part i guess it could be better than a desktop uh depending on what you're working on so if i'm working on app development for example if i'm writing code um I would definitely choose to write code over the Oculus just because it's a huge screen. I can see all the code at once. I can take notes at the same time and I can connect my actual physical keyboard now to the Oculus, which makes things super easy. So yeah, I would definitely choose to program over uh, in the Oculus over desktop. However, when it comes to testing things, let's say now I want to test it on my iPhone. Well, there's a bit of an issue because I'll have to take my Oculus off and then connect to my iPhone. While if I'm on a computer, I can just click play and see it on my phone so i guess it depends if you're really going to be doing something entirely just focused on your screen maybe the oculus actually could be better i'll i'll dare say it if it's something that requires connecting other things other devices into your computer well you definitely need to use your desktop and not be blinded by the oculus overall can you actually use this um from nine to five or not I would say no, just because you actually might get a little bit un uncomfortable. Uh, in terms of technical, yeah, I, I, I dare say, yes, you can. It's a great resolution. It definitely helps you focus on work because there's nothing else around you. It's just work. It's just your screen work. No dogs, no son, no one speaks to you. And when you're wearing this, your parents, your family, no one speaks to you. They know you're not listening. Um, so yeah, I can actually, I'll go to the extent of saying that you can use this as a full development tool obviously if you have a desktop to connect to because you use that on the oculus but yeah i would definitely say it. if you're choosing between a monitor and an oculus choose the oculus because you can get so much more done using this thanks so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this episode and see you next time